Baycast is one of the most used apps on my Mac. And now it's not just limited for Mac, it's also coming to Windows. They are already in beta and are sending invites every single week. In this video, I'll talk about some of the killer features of Raycast that makes it one of the best apps that you must have on your system. Raycast has a pro tire that costs you around $8 per month, but none of the features that I talk about in this video will cost you any money. This is the best part about Raycast. If you are a power user and want AI integration, then you can check out the pro tire. Otherwise, the free tire will suffice. Let's talk about the first feature, auto quit. As the name suggests, auto quit automatically quits application after certain interval of inactivity based on your configuration. This can be helpful to save the battery and memory usage on your Mac because of the redundant applications that might be running in the background. Here's how to configure it. You can just open the Raycast launcher and search for application over here. Let's say I'm searching for Discord. Now you can just right click on it and you will have the option to enable auto quit. Since I already have enabled it, it is showing the option to disable. So if you have not used it previously, it will show up this option like what you are seeing right now. When you click on it, the auto quit will be enabled and it will use the default configuration which is set for three minutes. Now, whenever a uh, Discord app is in the background and it is not running for more than three minutes, then it will, it will automatically quit. For managing all of your auto quit applications, you can just search for auto quit and you will have this option to manage auto quit. Click on it and here you will be able to see all the apps with auto quit enabled and apps with auto quit disabled. Now you can just right click on it to change interval for all of these individual applications or just disable the auto quit from here easily. HyperKey lets you convert an unused key on your keyboard into a new modifier key that combines all four keys, control, option, command, and shift. Now, when you press the HyperKey, it simulates pressing all four keys together. Most of my shortcuts are already taken by different applications and having the hyper key combined with other keys gives you a way to assign extra keyboard shortcuts that are even easier to use. There are other standalone applications as well to handle this such as the hyper key application itself but with the magic of Raycast you don't need it anymore. Here's how to set it up. Just open the Raycast launcher and go to the settings preference. You can just click command comma and it will open the settings. Now you'll need to go to advanced over here and here you have the option for hyper key. If you are just using it for the first time, you may need to provide some kind of permission. You'll need to do that first. Then after that, you can select any of these keys as hyper key. I have selected caps lock as my hyper key because caps lock is uh, the unused key on my keyboard. If these keys are present and you want to assign these as hyper key, then you can also do that. Now, further in this video, you will see a lot of uses of caps lock as well. In my setup, that makes it so much easier to use my computer and more efficient. I previously used the R command application from the low tech guys for quickly launching different application, but I have stopped using it after Raycast added the support for hyper key recently. Here is how you can set it up. Go to Raycast launcher over here and let me show you a quick demo. Let's say I want to open Discord. I'll just press caps lock and D. It will open Discord. And when I press caps lock and V, it will open VoiceSync application automatically. You can see here, I'm just quitting it. You just need to go to settings of Raycast. Just launch it, press command comma and you will go to the Raycast setting and click on the extension over here. Now you can see over apps, you can see, for example, I have assigned hyper key A, which means caps lock and A for opening Arc browser. Similarly, for cursor, caps lock C. For finder, caps lock F, which means I can easily access these applications without having to find them every single time I have to open them. I can just press the keyboard shortcut, caps lock F or caps lock C or caps lock D, whatever I have assigned to my different applications and they will automatically be launched. Along with just launching the apps, you will also be changed different things. For example, I have assigned uh, caps lock D, which means hyper key and D combination for 
changing the light mode and dark mode. You can see here, I'm just pressing caps lock D and it is automatically changing my appearance setting. So these are also available on the commands over here. If you go to the all tab, you will be able to see all the available apps, command scripts and everything that you can customize or that you can trigger with the hotkeys. The Raycast calculator is not just for simple calculations, it is also for conversions. You may want to convert currencies or you may want to compare different units. It does everything perfectly. This can save you tons of clicks for all the calculations and conversion related tasks. Here is how you can do it. Just open the Raycast window and you can do simple math calculations just like this. Like you can do calculations over here and you will have the result right under the search bar. This is really cool for quick calculations and even not just quick calculations but also for big calculations. You can also do currency conversion. Let's say I want to convert a dollar to Nepali rupees. I can just write thousand dollar to NPR which means Nepali rupees which means one dollar equals to 139.95. So thousand equals to 139. Similarly I can do it to INR which means Indian rupees or Euro and I can get the results simply like this. Now, along with currency conversion, you will also be able to do time zone conversion, which is also really handy. You can convert different time zones. For example, I can say KTM time to Japan time. KTM means where I'm living right now from Nepal to Japan. So it's already like tomorrow in Japan, like it's 3 a.m. but in Nepal right now it's 11.47 p.m. So you can do different kind of time zone conversion like this. You will also be able to do unit conversion like you can just convert similar units like one kilometer to meter or centimeter or like this. I mainly use the Raycast calculator for currency conversion and simple math. Hey, just a quick heads up. If you are on Mac, you can check out my application called as Voice Inc. It is a voice to text application that can significantly uh, improve your productivity. It is a better alternative to Super Whisper and Whisper Flow with a local processing and 100% privacy. You can check it out from the link even in the description as well. Let's get back to the video now. I feel like a lot of Raycast users love this one Raycast feature so much. And I feel like Raycast Notes is probably the best implementation of Quick Notes on macOS. Raycast Notes allows you to take quick sticky notes on Markdown formatting. On the free version, you can only have up to 5 notes, but with the pro version, you get access to unlimited notes. One limitation I had with the Raycast Notes is that they were only saved within Raycast. I use Obsidian extensively and I wanted a way to save those nodes directly to Obsidian and load nodes directly from Obsidian. That's why I built an application myself called as Quick Sticky Nodes that you may want to check out. It's a standalone application, but if you already use Obsidian, this is like a cherry on the top. So I'll just show you a side-by-side -side comparison of Raycast nodes and the Quick Sticky Nodes. I feel like Raycast Notes is slightly superior because it is not built with SwiftUI technology and SwiftUI technology still lags behind in terms of markdown formatting. So it's not that good, but it is more useful because all the nodes are saved locally. You can load the saved nodes from Obsidian or any other markdown nodes easily. Let's try to launch the Raycast Notes here. This is an example of Raycast Notes. Pretty beautiful and slick design. And now I'll just... Uh, quickly launch the quick sticky notes. So just like Raycast node, you can assign quick shortcuts to create new nodes, uh, open existing nodes, recent nodes, create a uh, open a scratch pad, etc. just by using keyboard shortcut. And the best part about both of these quick sticky nodes as well as the Raycast nodes is that you can keep on working with whatever you were working previously and this window will not be invisible this will always stay on the top like a floating window. There are tons of shortcuts with the quick sticky notes application. You can quickly open a quick note, open the note list where you will be able to see all of your locally saved markdown notes. Since I use Obsidian extensively, all of my notes are from Obsidian. So you can see there are tons of notes. I can just open them and it will appear always on the top of 
all the other existing windows on my Mac OS. I don't like the native emoji picker and it's not as good as the emoji picker that the Raycast app offers. It's simple, smooth, accurate and finds what you need. To use it, just search for emoji and you will have this source emoji. I have assigned it as command E with the combination of hyper key and hotkey feature. So I'll just need to press caps lock E. Sorry for saying command, it's caps lock E. And now you can just search for images over here like this. And when you click on it, it will be added to the current cursor position. Camera preview lets you see if the camera is working properly or not. If you frequently join meetings or have recordings to do, especially I do a lot of recording and tutorial videos and I also use Focusmate. So I always check for the camera using the Raycast application. Previously there was another application that I was using. I don't know what it was called. It was an application by Sindre Soros. But now I'm just using the Raycast camera. And I will also be able to easily switch uh, between the different available cameras uh, to test out what is working right and what is not working right. Raycast Focus is another feature you will absolutely love. If you have ADSD or trouble staying focused on the task at hand, you are gonna love it. This helps me immensely for tracking my focus and blocking distractions. To use Raycast Focus, just search for Focus and you have the option to start Focus Session which I have assigned the hotkey to Caps Lock and P which stands for like which I'm referring to as Pomodoro. I'll just need to click on it and over here you can write something like recording a video for YouTube and this is your goal for this session. You can check the duration whether you want these items to be blocked or allowed most of the times you want to block them you can also add individual websites for example you can write youtube.com but i guess youtube.com is already added in one of the categories so it will not be supported you can see here it is already in the streaming category so you can also manage all of these categories separately by using the focus category feature now just click on start session and you will have this floating window appear on the top of your screen and this will be a floating window so it will always appear on the top of all the windows so that you can peek at the task that you are doing and when you complete you can click on complete and when you want to just take a pause or break you can just click on pause and it will just pause the timer once you complete you can just click on complete and it will give a nice animation currently i cannot show you but that animation is pretty satisfying to look at with Raycast, you don't need any third-party clipboard application. This is also coming natively with macOS 26, but till then you can use Raycast clipboard. The Raycast clipboard history supports text, images, colors, and links, and also you can pin important entries for easier access. I have again assigned caps lock and EL for transcript history, and you can see these are the transcript items. You can filter them by different categories or you can just pin them for easier access for future you can just pin it and you will have the pinned clipboard items over here for easier access in future all the things that i talked about till now are the pre-built features that are available within raycast raycast also has extensions available on its store you can find tons of extension for all the productivity applications and most of the Mac applications are also well integrated with Raycast, allowing you to control and use those applications directly from Raycast launcher. And I have barely scratched the surface with this Raycast video. There are tons of other built-in features that you will love and hundreds of extensions that you will find helpful. If you haven't tried the application till now, I'll suggest you to download it from the link given in the description. Also, please don't forget to Check out my application Voice Inc. and Quick Sticky Nodes. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have a great time. See you in the next video. Bye.